Want to make some soup? I was in the mood for soup. Um, and I was like going through the fridge because I feel like you always go through the fridge to figure out what kind of soup you're going to make because you're going to, in essence, how like soup started was whatever you had left over. And I had a can of crab meat. And I was like, what can I do? And I went in the pantry and I saw I had some corn. Crab and corn. Perfect combo. So let's do some crab and corn chowder. Um, I had a couple potatoes left in the pantry as well. I just peeled and diced those. Um, we have some bacon, um, but first, you know, we gotta start with our carrot, celery, and onions and dice it up so we can get sweat in the pot so we can build this soup from scratch. Always all in the prep. So I already have the bacon diced up. I just use regular bacon from the dairy section at the grocery store. I had two cans of corn that I'm using, the one can of crab meat. I did cut up the rest of the scallions I had left over and the rest of some fresh parsley that I had in my fridge, um, a little bit of heavy cream, and I had stock. Now I didn't have fish stock, which is fine. I really only use fish stock if I'm doing like lobster bisque. Um, so I do have chicken stock and I have that ready to go. So we're gonna get these veggies and I'm going to sweat the veggies today in butter because we're gonna build a little bit of a roux so that we can make it creamy before we add our um, heavy cream to the stock to kind of give it that back of the spoon nappe consistency. Finished icing up our veggies. So the crab meat that I'm gonna use is lump and the only reason I stress this is if you use claw, it's obviously on the cheaper side but it ends up being really salty and mealy and when you're making a soup that's gonna cook for a while, obviously this is gonna be added at the end, but you want it to hold its own body in there. You don't want it to taste fishy or salty because that means the soup might be bad. And you want it to um, not fall apart easily. So the lump is pretty much your best bet when making um, any kind of chowder or soup. So I'm gonna just snack on it, but I'm gonna open it out of the can so that when I'm ready to put it in, we're ready to go. I'm starting with just a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of the pan to sweat, uh, I don't even know where to put this, to sweat the carrot, celery, and onions. Once they're sweated, sweating, I will, oh yeah, you know I love this sizzle. Um, once they have sweat down, I'm gonna add the bacon. So then the bacon's gonna render down and the fat's gonna get cooked out. So that's gonna add another layer of flavor, A, B, another cooking component, the fat, which is gonna coat it and be even better. Then we'll build our roux, which will help thicken our soup up. Veggies are sweated out pretty good. So now I'm gonna add my bacon. Like I said, I just bought good old fashioned bacon. This is a half a package. Um, but make sure you don't get like the maple smoked or the strong applewood smoked because I think it would really offset the flavor of the soup. Oh yeah, that fat just hit that pan. So, this is gonna really start to cook down now with the bacon fat and all oh, that flavor. My favorite ingredient, well one of them, butter. I'm doing a whole stick of, uh, I use unsalted butter and I'm gonna let this melt out because now once this melts, gotta reach for it. I have my AP, it's a two to one ratio flour so we can build our roux. Before you start, have everything done. Have your stock out because you do not wanna put the flour in here with the butter and then go look for your stock because you're gonna burn your roux and start all over again because you screwed up. So plan, plan, plan. I want to show you from this angle because sometimes these recipes are hard because the pot is this big and you're watching me from a side angle. So all the butter has melted down, all the bacon fat is in there, my veggies have sweated and now we're going to add our flour and you got to be ready, You're gonna, it's going to get thick. Do not get scared, it's making a roux, it's okay. Don't worry about those dark spots on the pot either, once you add your stock and we start adding our liquid that will all go away so don't even worry about it but let's cook out the taste of the flour by keep stirring keep moving it and we'll get that roux cooked down a little bit scrape down the sides keep moving it around use the wooden spoon get all that flavor out just hit my hand on the side of the pot because i'm getting aggressive here 
All right, now, the magic. Stock's going in. I'm gonna have to use this because I need another hand. When you start stirring, you'll start to see it thicken up real quick. Look at that. I'm gonna go add more stock. So for this, I am adding four quarts of stock to make my big pot. Because I got a big pot. See it pot? It's a big pot. Look how thick it's getting already. We added the stock and we're gonna add in, I just did Yukon, I had three of them. I peeled them and I medium diced them and I just had them soaking so they didn't turn too brown while we are doing all the prep. Um, just adding these on into the soup. So um, this will also help thicken it. Um, we wanna cook them till they're fork tender, but some of them are, are a little smaller and it'll start breaking down and that starch will also help thicken up our, um, our chowder. Take a look, woo, steamy. We have our chowder. Our potatoes are nice and soft. A lot of them have broken up. Our carrots. So right now we have our lump crab meat that I showed you earlier. It's gonna break up as soon as it hits here, but I'm just, I don't want it to be like super flaky, so we're just pouring that in. Corn, you can use the frozen corn too if you don't wanna use or you don't have canned corn. That's going in. And then we're finishing it, fresh parsley, fresh scallions, a little bit of fresh black brown pepper. Check this out. Look how beautiful. We're gonna let it cook for another two minutes. So everything come together. I'm gonna season it up with salt and pepper. We'll be tasting. You can see how beautiful the veggies have come together. Potatoes, the carrots. And now, yep, I have a little bit of bacon cooked on the side to garnish. Um, I'm also gonna add probably another smidge of cream with a little bit of salt. Okay, our chowder is completely done. And I set it off to the side. Look how beautiful the carrots potatoes, the crab, the corn. Oh my God, this looks amazing. So we're gonna bowl it up. Ooh, harder than it looks when you're doing it. Just wanna make sure I get a little bit of everything on here so we can have a delicious full bite. Oh my God, so excited. My soup is in the bowl and you know what this is? This is beautifully chopped bacon to garnish so that you definitely get that bacon crunch flavor after. Um, but perfect bite. Oh my God, how perfect. Perfect! This came out so good.